complete your listing with one click with templates. We do that because it's important. If you used Flying Upload before 2022 or maybe you're still using the local edit, you will know this, uh, this function under the name Profiles, where you could open a profile manager and yeah, load in here a design, doesn't matter which one, and then you could predefine here, for example, products, uh, marketplaces, colors, or of course also listing data. And uh, yeah, what was then possible is you load your new design in, use this profile, and then you already have a big part of your uh, listing ready so you don't have to define the products every time you have new designs. And of course, now in the online edit, there is no real function like the profile manager or yeah, templates. Um, and this is because one special reason. And this reason is that you don't have to define profiles here. Now every design is a profile because you can now use all the data you have here in your design management, every design or also every design in the edit. You can now use the products, you can now use the colors, prices, listings and so on. And how you do that, how you prepare that, how you use it with a normal import, just the design or also Excel import if you get something from UVA, I show you now and I think you will be amazed. First of all, we need of course a template slash profile and as I said a moment ago, every design with a listing or the orange ones are now also a template. So we could simply use them, but this series is a showcase. So to give you a better idea, we will upload placeholder designs and make simply just templates out of it. And I prepared something for you, very professional, here in GIMP with all my design skills I had. I created two templates, uh, these two here, and I will simply add them here into the design management. Um, every user also in the free version has two gigabytes free space, so you can do this with every version of Line Upload. Um, now we have here our two placeholder designs and important for you what I would do is if I have these placeholder designs um, select them and then set tags and I would simply give them the tag already template so you can't um, yeah or you find them easier let's say like that you will find them easier and then of course for the design itself you can give a special tag so add tags and this one should be for black um, and the other one should be for white so you will find them easier you can of course tag them and name them like you want and what we do now is we go one time with them into the edit and as you can see here it should be for black colors, it should be for shirt, hoodies and pop sockets and this is exactly what we will do and what we will prepare. So we want to have a shirt um, with all fit types with the color black and let's make it faster with just one marketplace. We want to have it on Amazon.com for $19.95. Um, we had the hoodie, same we have it for black, we have it for color uh, for marketplace.com and last but not least is the pop socket color black is perfect we have here yeah we have your fit types and here the same again and we now have more or less our template important to know if you make a custom template like this please enter here some kind of text because Flying Upload has to know that this listing is ready and finished to save. If you just um, create products, 
the flying upper load will it recognize as not finished not uh, started yet with the listing and that's why it won't save if you have here this little icon for design with listing you're good to go so simply enter some placeholder text i mean you will change it after that anyways when you create the listing for your design and we have the same here uh, enter a placeholder text and we have here just the color white for the shirt we want to have all the fit types we want to have the dot com marketplace i mean we can also enter a second one so you can see it and then we have here our icon again everything perfect our template is now created and yeah we can save but it is already saved and if we go now back to the design management you will see they're now orange um, they have no title because we entered this in brand of course you can also name the title like the template you have it's also possible so you see it's like a sandbox you can uh, do it the way you want but we have now our two templates and we will work with them and how I show you in the next step there are two types of people in the world one who work with Excel and the others who don't and if you are the second type and you know already all the advantages of a graphical user interface, this is your part. So what we want to do now is prepare the listing with our templates. And what I have here is I have four empty designs. I add the images, these four, they were before in the design management, but I just deleted them and now I re-upload them. And then I import them into flying upload. And of course you can tag them like, but we don't have to do this now. And I go into the edit and now the magic happens. You can now go to the tagging options to copy from listing history this is one um, possibility and you have of course the the two designs here because they were the last ones you loaded into the design management but if your templates are now older and of course you already landed, uh, loaded hundred and thousand of new designs into the design management you can simply search here for designs and you know you gave the tag template for example and then of course you will find everything with template here are other designs but also of course your template designs you gave one design the tag black and if you use this of course it's a very basic tag so others have it too but you will find the one with um, black so if you gave it the name template black or the tag template black you will find it here as the unique one but the most important you will find it this is the important part so you simply have to enter one word here and you have it and then you select it and then you apply it and then this one has all the settings you had before so the products the colors and the marketplace and now of course you think uh, okay one design but I have like 300 in the edit also no problem this is the tagging options below it's the apply listing history too this is for bulk and um, yeah we have the same so we search for template for example then we select the one you want to have and then we can apply it here with select all to all the designs in the edit and then all the designs have of course these settings and then you can create your listing i want to show you now one other trick if you work with niche templates so for example if I go to the tagging options again I go again to the apply listing history too and I know that I have for example gaming designs with the products I want with uh, parts of the listing I want then you can select this instead of the template you created apply to all and then you have all the products all the colors all the marketplaces with prices and of course also the listing and if you have here a lion in your listing and you see you want to have a cat then also no problem you can use here our replace function 
and then simply change it from lion to cat and it will recognize uppercase lowercase and now the lion is a cat for example and this listing is finished so i think you see now how it works and in the second example we make it with the excel input the second case the excel gate of course many of you still work with excel sheets and especially if you have a virtual assistant nearly every one of them works only with excel and this is also no problem and it is nearly the same so you have for example your excel file and the first question we often get is hey i added the shirt for example but i want to add the hoodie and how can i add the pop socket to the same design and so on and our answer is always you don't have to uh, excel often gets very complicated when you have like 10 lines for one design with different languages different prices different colors and so on and uh, yeah this is the most basic from basic and i think this is already not ideal or cannot be as good as a graphical interface so what we rec recommend to your va is simply prepare the listing simply prepare the shirt with the prices and so on and everything else will be yeah, done by a template so you get this excel from your va you get um, the designs from your designer and then all you have to do is import excel then to show you here is my folder we take the excel and then click next and then we add the designs um, we have the same four designs like before the file name must be the yeah, the right one and that's the only condition and then we yeah import it and then we skip all rows with errors and then we import and then we are at the same stage like before and one thing that should now come into your mind is okay before we had no listing and we simply overwrite everything with the template but now we only have uh, but we already have the listing so if we wouldn't uh, take a template with no text in it we would overwrite also the listing this is also no problem mark the designs go into the edit with them and then you can click here to load it is like from listing history the same and then you can search again here for the template you want and then we have for example this one you want to use and then you have it here of course you can do it also on top doesn't matter and then what you do here is because you just want to have the settings in this case because the listing is already written you go to options and then you go to apply products to these are just the settings select all apply and boom you have all the products you want you have still your listing you have imported and your designs are finished they're ready to upload you can create here an upload patch unzip the zip load it into the local flying uploader and then to the platforms that you want and this is how easy it is for the excel import tube so your va or yourself you don't have to um, prepare line for line for line product 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 it is enough if you import your listing with one product and then you simply make one time apply product two and yeah this is it then your listing is ready and of course um, with the next update maybe we already have it when you see this video we will also have here a new option with um yeah um with apply products from listing history so you don't have to do it with load you can simply select here like apply products select the template and then just overwrite the products not the listing itself so um you can do it like 
with load you can do it with the new function that is coming in a few days and like you want and this should be it how you import with just the designs how you import with excel so like you want you can do it with two clicks maybe three you have all the products you want to have all the settings doesn't matter if you work with your own templates you created doesn't matter if you work with niches with listings from the design management you already have you are free to decide how you work and we hope you like it that way and we also hope this video was helpful if you have questions uh, about these functionalities write it down in the comments um, subscribe to this channel if you want to learn everything about flying upload and all the new cool stuff we're uh, we have coming up and yeah that's all for today have a nice day and bye